Let's take a quick look here before we start rolling. We have Tia over at the theater with the Armsmen and two Enforcement. David and Cody are here at the power plant with a barricade, three Enforcement, and Snowfall. Prof is up here at the Navy Pier with Firefight and four Enforcement. Nobody's up here at the Loop with Conflux, and there's nothing there but Conflux right now. And here we have Night Wielder with Steelheart and three Enforcement. Also quickly, before I start rolling, I realized that I did not collect my reward of three plan tokens when I defeated Fortuity. Tia only has one, so we'll give her one of the three. Cody only has two, so we will grant him one. And Prof, he already has three, but we'll give him another one so he can use Lead the Way and Nighthawk Mobile without having to worry about what dice he rolls. We'll start our rolls with Tia. A whole lot of money, some attack enforcement, and one contain. David. Got research, enforcement attack, epic attack, and a contain. And we have Cody. Lots of attack enforcement, which is good. We're going to need it. And him having his sniper ability and garbage truck will really help contain all that enforcement that's out there. And we have Prof. Lots of epic attack. We need that too. We want to take down Steelheart as quick as possible. Since Tia is at the theater with two enforcement, we will have her keep both of those. She is also there with the armsman who needs to be contained three times, so we'll keep one contain also. David is there with Snowfall a barricade, and three enforcement. But he really doesn't have to worry about the enforcement because Cody's there with him, and Cody rolled really well for attack enforcement. So we will keep his contain epic. Cody will definitely keep that double enforcement attack, and with the fuel cells, that two will turn into a three, and that'll handle everything that's there. I don't have to worry about the Navy Pier with Prof because he can handle the enforcement there. We will have him keep that contain. The flash grenade will turn that into a double and I'll have to look and see. I think that that double will be turned into a triple by the fuel cells also. We don't need any research and we're going to keep an epic attack for sure. We need to go after Steelheart. I don't feel that money is a priority anymore. There are enforcement over at Millennium Park, where Steelheart is at, so we could drop the sniper token there. So I'll keep both of those also. So he's going to keep a lot of dice from his initial roll. Prof can handle the enforcement. He's going to have one extra, because there's four there, so we'll keep that. Definitely keep that epic attack. Let's keep all the epic attack, because we need to go hard at Steelheart. Tia could use some containment here. She did not get any. David could do research from afar, and we need to work on taking out Night Wielder and Conflux because they grant fortify and add enforcement to adjacent districts. Let's see what David rolls first. Oh, we got double contain. We can use that for sure. Cody doesn't have many dice left, but we got an attack enforcement and an attack epic. Very nice. And Prof only has two dice remaining. Tia only has those two enforcement with her and she already has those handled. So we'll keep the plan symbol. I think we'll move David to the armsman because Tia has that one contain and then he can use his double to keep him completely under control. We'll keep that epic attack, see if we can go after Steelheart. And it's always good to have a plan token. And that's a basic plan token, so his camera will turn it into two. Cody couldn't have rolled much better. He's going to keep that. That way he'll be able to take care of all of the enforcement of Millennium Park. And he'll keep that too, because he'll have his token there where Steelheart's at. He can attack him a couple of times. Prof is probably not going to use any research. We'll keep the money. We already have $1 in reserve, so if we have two, 
that'll allow us to get that dice back for Tia. Final roll. Oh, we're going to have plenty of money, apparently. David. Lots of contain. Excellent. Cody already rolled all of his dice, and Prof only has the one, but he's going to get research anyway. We'll start with Cody. He will use that double enforcement attack, and the fuel cells will turn that into a triple. And while he's there, he'll contain Snowfall. That'll eliminate all of the enforcement and drop her down to a reasonable level. I will have Cody use his sniper token and place it at Millennium Park and have him go after all three of the enforcement there, removing them, and we'll have him fire a couple of shots at Steelheart, dropping him down to 30 health. I'm going to allow myself to make a change and use the disguise instead of using that contained die. I wanted to save that for something else because of my flash grenade. And now I'll use that die with the flash grenade, turning it into two contains. And I looked on the rules and the fuel cell does affect it. So that double will turn into a triple containment. And with his sniper token there at Steelheart, I'll take care of all three on his red track. And that fully contains Steelheart right now. We'll stay with Cody a little bit longer. Let him use the garbage truck to take care of a barricade and move if he wants to. I'll take the barricade away from the power plant and I will move him to the loop with Conflux for a possible containment by using one of his plan tokens if no one else is available to take care of Conflux. I'll have Tia contain the armsmen and take care of both enforcement at her location. That'll bring the armsmen down one but remove both enforcement. We use Tia's grenade launcher to launch two attacks at Steelheart, and that'll bring his health down two to 28. At Prof's location, we'll have him take care of one enforcement, and then three more for a total of four being eliminated. Now will take care of all of the remaining enforcement on the board. I'll have David use his notebooks to do a couple of research and we'll do that on Night Wielder. There's only one enemy that has two abilities to contain, and that's the Armsmen, so we don't need these doubles. I'll use one double to move, then I'll use the other double to contain the Armsmen. Move to the power plant, and using that double contain, we'll bring him down to the low level. I'll have Prof use a token to contain Firefight so we don't have to worry about losing population. Then we'll use the dollar to move him into position from the Navy Pier to the park. Do one more research on Night Wielder, and that'll clear his research track, making him vulnerable and weaker. And now we're going to launch a serious attack on Steelheart. We'll do two epic attack, and then we'll use a token on the Nighthawk Mobile to do three more epic attack for a total of five. And Prof hit him really hard, bringing him all the way down to 23. Since Prof's already there, he'll use a token to contain Night Wielder, keep us from losing some population. David will spend a die to move and use one to contain Conflux. I'll take him from the theater to the loop and keep Conflux contained. He'll use a die to move again to go from the loop to Millennium Park. And once there, he will use four of his tokens to attack Steelheart four times, bringing Steelheart from 23 down to 19 remaining health. David will use that in order to get two more tokens from his camera, and those will be ready in the next phase. Tia will earn us two dollars, and that'll allow her to buy her die back. And she'll get a token. Tia earned us two dollars. We didn't defeat any of the epics, so we won't have any rewards there. And I'll just spend two that she earned, give her her dice back. And I almost forgot to let Tia use her operations to grant a token. I know I should have done that before collecting rewards and spending money, but... 
running four characters can be hard to remember everything. So I'm going to allow myself a little bit of leeway there. And she'll give that token to Prof, because he's the only one that has a single token. Everybody else has three. Now it's time to activate the epics. We didn't free up any spaces, so no one will get added. And I think the group of epics that we have here are going to really keep Steelheart from getting too strong. They themselves will get a little more powerful with the fortification. We'll just have to manage that. But I think we've done a really good job of getting to a group of epics and being able to attack Steelheart a lot now that we have him vulnerable. So we'll start activating down here in Millennium Park. Night Wielder will fortify on either side and get one stronger. So that'll take Firefight up one and Snowfall up one to seven. She's pretty powerful. Firefight will add to the red track and increase one. And that'll take the red track up just one notch. Conflux will add enforcement on either side and get one stronger, placing one at the theater and one at the Navy Pier. The Armsman will add another and his strength will increase three again. So we're going to have to contain him while attacking Steelheart. Snowfall will fortify herself twice, taking her up to nine. She'll gain one strength and we have to really make sure we hit her at least a couple of times because she goes up three every time thanks to Night Wielder and her power. That brings us back to Millennium Park with Steelheart. And we've done a really good job of keeping him contained. He will take away two population. And that will take the population down to 18 remaining. He will attack the base once, taking it down one step. He will add six enforcement, placing three at Millennium Park and continuing clockwise, adding three more at the Navy Pier. We only have one barricade to deal with, and that'll be at Millennium Park, and that's not a big deal because of the garbage truck with only one out there. Just eliminate that easily each phase. Let's see where Steelheart will end up. He's going to move two, and that will move him up to the loop right where Cody's at. I think we're in pretty good shape. Steelheart has 19 health remaining. Hopefully we can do a lot of attacks. We have Tia. She's still at the theater with the armsmen and a couple of enforcement. No one's at the power plant. Here at Millennium Park we have Prof and David. And Cody will take care of that barricade. No problem there. Prof can take care of those three. Enforcement. We don't have anybody up here right now so we're going to have to move there. Or have Cody drop a sniper token there. Take care of the enforcement there. And Cody's up here with Steelheart. Mm -hmm. 